Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to connect to and remotely control a virtual machine in VirtualBox using the Windows Remote Desktop Client. So this doesn't matter what the operating system is, you don't have to have credentials for it. As long as it's uh, running in VirtualBox, you can connect to it. So we did a video on this a while ago on an older version of VirtualBox, but it's a little different now, but not too much, so we figured we'd do a new video for it on VirtualBox 7. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to the Tools menu here and then to Extensions and make sure you have the VirtualBox extension pack installed and make sure it's the same version as your VirtualBox. So this is 1095, go to Help and About, 1095, so that matches. So if you don't have it installed, you could go to their website and download it. So I'll put a link in the description for that. And then you just click on Install, browse to that file and install it. All right, so next we're going to do this on a Windows 11 computer and a Linux computer. So we'll do Windows 11 here first. So go to the settings, and then display, and then remote display, and check the box to enable server. So you might want to change this port number so it's not using the Windows RDP default, you know, 3389. So we'll change this to 90. Say OK. Now the first time you do this you might get a message pop up about the Windows firewall asking if you want to allow it through it so just say OK to that and you'll be good to go. Alright so all you need to do next is open up your remote desktop client use this IP address here 127.0.0.2 and then colon and then the port number you assigned to that VM so it was 3390 in this case, now you need to make sure you use a different port number for every VM, otherwise you don't know which one it's going to be connecting to. And then like I said, you don't need to put in any credentials, so you don't need to do any of the options here. And then also since you're technically connecting to a local computer, your computer running VirtualBox, another reason not to use the local RDP port. Alright, so we have our IP address, colon 3390, so we'll click on connect. And you'll get this typical message about remote desktop can identify the identity so you can check that box if you don't want to see it again click on yes all right so now we're on this computer here let's say we open up the microsoft store like so and then if we minimize this go to the console here you'll see it looks exactly the same. All right, then when you're done, just click on the X to exit the session. It's not going to shut down the VM or affect it. It'll just kill the remote session. And now we're back here. So now if we go to our Linux computer here, go to the settings. This one's configured for 3391. So now we'll go here, change this to 91. Click on connect. Same message here, click on yes. And now you can see we're on the Linux computer using remote desktop. And I could double click something to open. And if I go back out, go to the console, you can see it matches. All right, so once again, go to tools, extensions, install the extension pack after you download it. Go to the VM you want to use it on. Go to settings, display, remote display. Enable the server, change the port number, uh, use that IP address here, the 127.0.0.2, and colon port number, connect, and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.